channel my name is Squad Queen and today I like to start with a very brand new project using uh, a new brand for me Laser O Love and it's from Polen and um, first of all I'm going to show you the papers if you aren't having seen the haul I did uh, a, f a, a few well last week I believe a few weeks ago anyway I am going to show you uh, what papers I'm going to use so um, for this time I'm going to make a baby album a baby girl album and I choose these papers and I got the opportunity to choose on their website from Laser Roll Love so thank you so much for the opportunity and uh, they have so much nice collections so please check out the uh, website and I put the link below this video um, so but first of all I'm going to show you how the papers looks like so this collection is calling vintage baby girl and with one pack you get these three sets of uh, yeah you can cut these out um, on one side they have three tags on it and the next one there are three tags on this on this side or at the back you can cut out these lovely dolls and baby tools and on the last one you get these balloons or at the back also tags so yeah you can choose which one you want to cut out but gosh I love these all so cute alright so this is with the pack and in each pack there are I believe six six pages six double-sided pages and uh, I'm going to going to let you see one two three four five six yes so six are these and I already layered these out but let me first show you so the first one is a nice tag sheet where you can nice cutly cut these out and you even get two nice little borders on top of them so really they fit in all the place to use and on the back you get these nice beige brown stripes colored collage and I really like the grungy thing on it so it's really vintage I really love it so that is one page then you have this so fancy one it's a really light mauve pink color I really adore this color it's really vintage and then on the back oh you get these little tiny tools, tools uh, toys like these uh, wind thing and this this elephant and a rabbit and a horse wiggling um, very difficult for me to use uh, words in English that I'm not used to so please forgive me <laughs> I'm Dutch I'm not English all right but I'm doing my best okay so I really and the background is nicely um, uh, that mauve thing pink again with a few little dots uh, on the back the small dots really cool um, okay so let the next page the next sheet is nice beige creme color background really grungy on the edges you see here and there uh, some very light text coming through and then on the front you have these nice little pink hearts little ones and little bigger ones and then on top wow really cool again a nice border at the top a nice strip border yeah whatever you're going to call it with some nice baby tools at the bottom i so love this vintage look can you imagine these old um doll quips things living in a very very old house i truly can imagine I sometimes I see films with uh, on the attic these old tools, uh, not tools, toys. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'm really in the in into that 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 old vintage uh, thing. Now this one is really such an awesome page. It's really yeah. You 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 should not think that this is a baby uh, paper, but it is. So I I truly love it. Really again, some nice brown beige tint with some crunchy edges and such nice uh, it's almost an, a wallpaper kind of a thing I should I should do this on my walls it's such amazing really cool and on the back you have uh, stripes 
and on the background also some little lyrics, some words and yeah, kind of a rock, kind of a stone crunchy thing on the back and then on the bottom a nice um, yeah, lace strip. Oh my gosh, I really love it. So cool. Then this page, really easy going. Nice creme, cake, creme color, also with the dots. Also nice grungy edges. So cool. And then here we have another toy sheet with bears and dolls and hearts. And oh my gosh, I love it. It's so cool. Okay, and it's really cool that they use a... A uh, quiet sheet with uh, a, a busy one, so perfect, good, good, good choice. Then we have on the background a little stripey, and again that 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 lines, that lyrics on the back, not lyrics, words on the back. Then we have these balloons, and they are getting a little stripey thing, and I really like the mustard color. That's so it's not completely um, pink and brown. So I really like that they match another color in between so it's really playful and then on the front also these old toys look at this bear it's stitched everywhere and here too a very old doll and wow cool and these uh, balloons they are coming back and then this uh, yeah i know someone <laughs> Help me how they call this but i totally forgot i'm so sorry i am terrible but you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so that is for the papers. And so you get six pages, uh, six double-sided uh, sheets in one pack. Um, I got a few packs, so I have plenty to work with. So I'm not worried. But I can imagine if you want to use these, then you grab a few packs. So, but at the end, if I'm finished, I will tell you how much I need it. I can't tell you right now because I need it to start. Okay, so let's get started and let me adventure my new baby album. So cool. Okay, stay tuned. Alright, let's just start. Well, I'm going to tell you, I do not have a, um, I call that... I don't have a way that I always do the exactly same thing. No, I don't. I, I, I do not. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, I tell you, um, I just finished a, a, a huge wedding album, and there I started with the pages and then did the cover on the end. But you know me, I'm crazy. <laughs> now I'm going to start with the cover. So yeah, I am not always exactly the same way of working. Nope, uh, today I really like to uh, use first the cover and I'm going to give you the measurements. Oh, I'm going to give you the measurements. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so pause it and write it down. My new baby album cover is going to be eight by 10 inch. And of course you need that double. But, and the spine is three by 10 inch. And in centimeters, that's 20 by 25 and a half centimeters, double. And this I can't, is 9 by 25 and a half centimeters. Okay, so that is the measurement. Okay, and now for the pages, I am just going to make them first, but perhaps it, it's just a little note, perhaps. You can check it out if, if then I am correct. But I think... The pages are going to be 7 by 9 3 4 inch. Um, and I, it, it's just a little note. I don't know if that is exactly, but that's just... I'm going to give you the white ones, but I think they are the white ones. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I am going to make these. And so I make some place. So all my... Design paper are going out of the way. And then just going to make the cover. Alright, so which papers I'm going to use uh, for the background? That's also a thing. I always let's let's grab let's well let's just grab this thing. Um 
that's another another tip I want to give you. If you are starting a new project and you don't know which cardstock will fit, well, just grab the cardstock that you have and check it out because you can. So this is the white uh, of the black. And if you don't like that, check it with brown. Brown, I always also very very like that too. The brown one, I'm still. Or you like a cream color one. Ooh, also nice. Or I could use a white one. So yeah, lots of possibilities. But I also have this cardstock. And for the kit buyers, they know which, which paper that is. I really love this paper. Um, that's a little crunchy vintage paper. And I really like this one. So, yes, I'm going to use it. Yep, perfect. Yep. So, yeah, just choose what you have and, 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 and see what fits. Just trying it out. Hey, come here, you guys. Just trying it out and just decide what you like. You don't have to use exactly the same color as I did. Just use what you have and check it out what you prefer using. Okay. So um, for the cover, for the yeah, for the cover. Normally I use uh, contact paper, but for now I'm going to use the same paper for the outside. Ooh, cool. All right, so I'm going to prepare a little and then I'll come back to you. All right, so what I did was attach two of my 12 by 12 sheets on each other. Oopsie. Okay, that will fit. So I'm just going to start now with the spine and I added some double-sided tape on so it will attach really well but I still like to add some glue on so I can wiggle a little so I'm just adding on the outside some extra glue and then on the inside I don't want this to come loose so I use quite a lot. All right, so let's attach this nicely in the middle. Here it is. All right, so grab the second piece. And this chipboard, I it, it's just a uh, chipboard I got from a factory um, where they chip doors so but I think it's not thick enough to use one layer so I'm just used two layers so that is why my chipboard really look thick but I love that because an album needs that thickness I believe but we also going to attach lots and lots of design paper so I think a chipboard from one and a half or two millimeter is thick enough. I think. There we go. Now leave at least four millimeters in between. Um, I normally I'm going to eyeball it. So just like now. I'm going to check it out. Oh, it's even five well yeah five so no big deal the wider the better well not that wide but four five millimeter is good but four millimeter is for me good enough okay all right let's go to the other side again removing my tape Here we go. Oops. Put some glue on.
yep and then just add it four millimeters yep pretty good here we go that's that all right now i'm going to cut the corners and you can leave um how much well i don't know how much how much is it i think at least two or three millimeters away from this corner from here and then when you are leaving that gap you can cut it you also can cut it straight in a, in, in, in a straight line but i always like not to cut it in a straight line so when I'm leaving my two or three millimeters off, I like to cut it in and a small angle. Okay, so two or three millimeters and going around the corner. Here we go. That's that. Now, because this is not contact paper, I'm used to that. Uh, normally, I am used to using uh, contact paper, but this isn't. So I'm just going to attach all the way around double-sided tape. Excuse me for the piece that it's not in frame, but you know what I am doing. Aren't you? Yes, you are. At least I hope you are. <laughs> Here we go. Um, one more. Yep, that it is. Now, yes, I'm not sure if it's needed, but hey, since it's not contact paper, I am going to do the edges of my grungy cream color paper do not ask please do not ask where i got it from i have my sources <laughs> i cannot give you a link for it i bought it from a lady that stands on a craft fair and she knows me pretty well in the meantime and I bought it on a craft fair and I emailed her. I said, lady, that paper is awesome. If you get any more, please call me. And she did. <laughs> so I bought it. I bought it all. <laughs> so I can't give you a link. That lady is a, um, I call that a, um, yeah, it's, it's not, it's not a website. She just buys her things when someone is going to be broke how you call that when uh, i know it's in, in 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 dutch but i don't know how it called in english when a business is going to be yeah broke down i don't know anyway you get the picture so when she had the opportunity to buy a lot she called me and i'm so grateful for it because i really like these papers Anyway, and I'm not going to sell it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to use it in, in, in kits sometimes, but I'm not going to sell it because I love it too much. All right, now it's the time that I'm going to use some arc glitter glue. I hope it's open. Especially on the edges right here. And a little in between. Yep, here we go. Okay, now I'm going to wrap this around. And I'm pushing the paper against my chipboard. And because this is not contact paper, I'll be gentle with it. 
There we go. I think we are done. So I'm just folding in the middle, inside, and then I'm going to be down. And then going up. And I know I'm not on frame, but you get the picture. Okay, then I'm grabbing my bone folder and squeeze that tape and glue into the chipboard. Yes. All right, now. Be gentle doing this because the glue is still a little wet, but especially when it's a little wet, I'm going to do that right now. Be gentle, just rubbing to the sides of your paper to give it a nice finishing touch. But be gentle doing this, guys. Be gentle. You don't want to ruin your paper or anything. Yep. Nice clean edge. All right, so let's go to the other side. Peel it off. Here we go. Use my arc glitter glue on the edge. And a little inside. So it won't go anywhere. All right, again, I'm starting in the middle, squeezing my paper to that edge. There we go. Come to the top. Use your thumb and fingers or hand or anything. <laughs> Squeeze it to that edge. Oh my gosh, it's almost <laughs> if I'm making a massage. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes, I am odd. I am. I'm so sorry. Yeah, that's just me. I always see the fun of it. <laughs> okay, doing the same thing. Rubbing this against that edge. <laughs> and then just need to push to the middle. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> then use your bone folder to squeeze your tape and your glue into the chipboard. Yes, here we go. And now again, be gentle. Gentle, go to the sides. All right, now keep this back in frame. <laughs> Make some plays, please. Okay, let's peel this off. Now well, let me peel the other side also off. Now I have my pokey. Oh yeah, the other day someone message me that sometimes these pickers, I call it each time a picker, but some ladies say to me uh, sometimes they also uh, call it a, a, a pokey tool to poke a hole. That's a good one. Uh, okay, uh, what we are going to do with these edges because there is a little edge corner right here. Did you see that? Yep, I did. Now, I like to use my bone folder and just go around that corner. See? Around that corner with your bone folder. Yes. Okay, and now it's time again to rub it in. Give that a little massage. <laughs> And again, be gentle. Okay. 
look how nice and tight this corner is. See? Perfect. Alright, so let's do it again. So what I did is just go around the corner. So go around the corner. That's really easy. Really easy with your bone folder. Go around the corner. So that is nicely tucked in. Alright. Give it a little massage oil. <laughs> Use your thumb. Squeeze it in. Push it real nicely to that edge. Give it a nice massage. Okay, I will stop. <laughs> I will stop making that fun with this cover. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Yeah, I just have a little, little, up. Oh, there we go. Yep, perfect. Okay. Look. See? Still perfect. Perfect, nice touch. Alright, so yeah, that it is. Now I'm just going to turn it around and make sure that every glue or tape that I put right on here on the back is going in that paper. Now we are good. Alright, so what do you think? Is this a nice size for a baby album? Well, I think it's again very, very, very huge. But you know me, I can't make small albums. I can, but I don't like it that much. And I really like, you, especially for a baby album or a wedding album, then the plan is that you're going to put your photos in here. So why make it too small so your 4 by 6 inch photo mats or in dutch dutch or europe 10 by 15 centimeter photo mats they don't fit well perhaps like this but not this way so that is why i choose this size because now i can i still have place to put these photo mats in and that is what we're going to do because i made up my mind <laughs> normally i will do a totally different one but since I just uh, finished my uh, wedding album um, from Scrap Me, from Tenderness, um, I was thinking I really like that uh, base um, with uh, on the front page uh, using photo mats, and then inside do also uh, give the person the opportunity to put your photos in, and I still can make pockets in there to. Um, so yeah, and, and there is still enough space for embellishment. So I'm going to do that a little, yeah. I don't, I can't say if I do that exactly the same, but I am going to continuing a bit the same. So if you are just making the wedding album, then you're going to recognize some of that idea in this album. All right, so that has been said. Um, what can we do more? I think I go to the outside and first see what kind of a paper that I want before I go to the inside. So that is the fun part! Yay! <laughs> so let's see what kind of a paper that I want for the outside. So when you are choosing your outside papers, you're going to... Uh, Take a note of what you want on the cover. Do you want to make it uh, very much embellished with embellishments or uh, roses or flowers or anything? Then I can recommend keep then your paper quiet as possible. Uh, you always can add a picture on. Um, so yeah, this is a very nice one at the bottom. But perhaps you want to do your flowers on the bottom here. Then it's a total waste that you use this paper because this image you can cut it out and use on and, and put it a little higher. So that is 
for me I I really like using a base uh, page so I can add an image wherever I want so that is just a tip so I'm going to break my brain and see what kind of a paper I want for the outside cover and then for the spine and I definitely oh yeah that is also a thing <laughs> I just got a question I did recently made these uh, these chunky charm things this one I use for my uh, glue and um, <laughs> <laughs> I also told in that video that you can make chunky charms for uh, putting on an album and that woman, that lady, asked me uh, are you going to show me how we can add a chunky charm to a album and I thought well yeah I did that in the, in, in, in the past so okay I, I, I looked it up for a link to send to her but gosh guys that was uh, years ago that I did that so yeah, it's definitely for me <laughs> a good uh, reminder that, well, especially on a baby album, I really like that. So you can put funky things on, on the side or ribbons or bows or, yeah, I really like that. Um, so yeah, I'm going to attach a chunky charm on this album. So that is also what you keep in mind. Um, add that right now before you go to the inside. All right, so that is the second tip I'm going to give you today. Ooh, I'm full of tips today. Tip, 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 tip. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back and then perhaps you're seeing which, kind, which papers I have used for the cover. Okay, stay tuned. Hello everybody, um, today it's a new day and last night I end up with this idea. Nothing is glued down yet, so it's just an idea and... Um, um, so I was, yeah, this is really, I really like this and the color is just perfect. Don't know exactly if I'm going to use it, but it was just to try it out a bit. Um, I'm definitely going for uh, silver because I think the brown bronze color is, I think, too hard for, uh, for a baby girl um, album. It could be, but... I choose for silver, so I'm just quiet trying to search all silver stuff, silver and bling bling. Um, but I again want to use this uh, this fabric because I just love it and it, it's nice and soft and I just yeah adore it. <laughs> so and I use it on the wedding album and the wedding album turns amazing. So that is why I wanted to use it again. So what I Search for the paper. I choose a, um, this, 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 this brown one because you still can add nice white flowers. I don't want to uh, choose too much pink. I don't have that much pink flowers. So I want to use uh, white flowers. So I choose a clear, not too clear, but a background paper for the front. So I still can embellish lots with images and flowers or something like that. And then um, on the back, I choose for this paper, really cute, so that on the back still be seeing that it's a baby girl uh, album. And I cut out that top um, strip, glued it on top of this one, um, so it's a nice decorative edge. Okay, so um, again, for the cover, for the spine, I used uh, again some book binders linen, so it won't tear anywhere. But... If you don't have that, you can also use just uh, duct tape. That also do the trick. All right, so I'm just going to start and I'm just going to glue this all on. And then I'll be back in the second. All right, stay tuned. Okay, I'm halfway there. I just glued my paper on and the middle of this fabric. Now, this fabric is of course a bit see-through but not that much so I really like it and I really turns out really good with my hot glue and I'm just going to I call that <laughs> I'm going to show you how I added my glue um, on this piece now first of all this is a stripe pattern so check if your lace your fabric is nicely cut straight and I see that it is so that's just perfect now I'm just going to add um, bit by bit if 
from top to bottom all the way down especially on the edges and then just squeeze your glue into your fabric that's that and then if your hot glue is ready I hope it is then you can apply the next piece all the way to the end and then again just push it down and that's how I am going to add all the way down till I'm at the end Here we go. Alright, so that is how I do it. So, as you can imagine how I do it. So, stay tuned. Alright, so now that I'm done, I actually thought by myself, well, it would be nice if I first layered a nice piece of ribbon. So, um, so it gives an, an yeah I, I will I, will, I will want to let that pink come back and I really have this gorgeous lace which Anneke Voskuil sent me and and this color just perfect is matching this uh, collection so I'm going to use it thank you Anneke for sending me it and it's stretchy but we don't need that stretchy um, so I was thinking well how can I now add this lace still when um, when I already glued this this piece down well it's so easy of course so I'm going to start with the top piece and I'm first going to check same as I did with the first try out so I want to that this is coming right here so, so, so far I need. So, I will flip it over and see where this goes. Now, this stripe is really handy. On this side I make a pencil mark, but for this is really handy. So, I just need to apply my glue on this side. And then just apply on that first edge and then just squeeze it in same as we did on this fabric so I'm just going to add more glue all the way down and now it's really handy that we use stripes but the back cover I also did just using pencil marks to give that as a guideline okay squeeze the glue really good in that fabric now I'm just going to turn it over and first I'm going to add another piece all the way down and squeeze that in that edge here we go squeeze it in let it dry for a second all right so now I just need to apply another stripe on that first layer in a toppers and then just press it down that's how I adjust my gorgeous lace but I should have done that underneath <laughs> the fabric now then I'm done now I can cut this in the right size shorter there we 
go. There we go. Okay. I like it. So cool. What do you think? Isn't this shabby chic? I love it. I really do. This color is just awesome. Now, let's see. Um, we do need to add this right here. But um, I, I, <laughs> I tried something out. I was thinking last night, really, I'm going to tell you. I woke up last night at 4 o'clock and um, I have so many ideas with this album that I could not sleep for an hour. So I watched the clock getting to 5. <laughs> then I fell asleep and this morning I really, ah, I want to get up, I want to get up. <laughs> um, I was thinking perhaps, I don't know how long the hot glue lasts, but perhaps you can adjust a little extra security with brads. But I thought, well, just a, a brad is, is boring. But if you um, put a brad into this ribbon and then poke it all too, then you make um, a bow, then it all cover up. So it, it, I think it's nice. I don't know. What do you think? Should this be not doing nice? Like five or so? I don't know. I really like how this is and I think it will it will last. But we have to decide that right now if we do this or not. I think it looks nice for these little bows. It's really extra extra baby, don't you think? I think I'm just going to do it. I I had that idea that last night, so I'm just going to do it. All right, so just going to start. <laughs> so how far do we want it? Well, I'm just going to be just on this edge, just to do the yeah. It's it's not not a half inch, one fourth, just about one fourth. Or a 3.8. Let's use a 3.8. So I'm just going to first see where the middle is. And that is right here. Okay. So there is the middle. And there I want poke a hole. I hope I still am on my chipboard. I think I am. I'm not going, I'm not, oh yeah, now I'm feeling it. Let me check. Oh yeah, plenty of room. So let's poke a hole. All right, so let's grab a piece of ribbon and a brad. Let's see what the middle is. And it's just something. <laughs> I thought of last night, so this is the middle. Punching a little hole in. Let's go grabbing the brad. All right, so let's push this out, push this in. I hope I still see my hole. Yep, there it is. Leave your string, your ribbon, nicely. It is. I think I moved a little too much at the bottom, but it still opens. Yep, this, and then squeeze it. Yep, that's that. And then you can make this bow, this this ribbon, as a little bow. So I just tie this up. Mm. 
Now I'm perfect. Let's make a nice bow. And mess it up. And then we're just going to play a bit to make a nice, nice tiny little bow. Now I noticed that this is keeping coming loose, but I hope I can. How can we keep? Wait just a second. Let's still try out. Nothing. Just a tiny little dot right here, so it keeps from. We don't want that. We don't want that this ribbon is coming loose. Okay, that's one spot. And I want here another little tiny little dot. Not too much. Here we go. I think that does it. Because I was thinking, putting the brat in and then glue a ribbon on, that should be doing real easier. But I think when you are moving your album, then it will get loose, I think. What do you think? I think it does. It will get loose at some point. you are going to use that album of course okay so now I am ready to go to cut this one off perhaps I cut it totally wrong but forgive me all right so that is that for the first one it's not perfect but trying to make the next one better and then yeah of course we need something in here let's use what shall we use is this a good size i think this one is too big well what do you think uh, 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 uh. oh this one's also nice. What do you think? Finishing touch or too shabby? Oh, I want to do a sparkle. I want to do a sparkle. Oh yeah, too much options. I just love this one. Just, oopsie, do it. Okay, so using my pincer, pushing it down. What do you think? What do you think? Is this nice or do you think, well, it's still coming off eventually? I don't know. Well, this is just one, but we can do this five or three. One here, one here, or five. I don't know. I don't know yet. <laughs> I am a little trying something out it's not a perfect bow but i think it's really shabby chic for baby girl yeah i think i love it and then in the middle we have that thing for a chunky charm 
And I don't know if this now is nice. I think it's not. It's not matching the colors right now. So I don't. Um, yeah, I'm going to think it over just for a second. And if I do the rest, then will you see that? Do me that off camera. You see now what the point is. Is this? Well, it's it, it's pretty tight. It could have stayed pretty good. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, I'm I'm just go. I just go for it. Yeah, just trying it out. And see if it goes, and uh, yeah, we'll see if it stays or not. If it's not, that's no worries because you only see the boat, and the boat is keeping this more down than I think only the glue. But it's just a tryout, it's just a tryout. But I really like the shabby look of it. All right, all right, stay tuned. <laughs> All right, um, update. <laughs> I was not satisfied with the bow that I made, um, especially when it's on the front cover. I really don't like it. So I searched for another way to make nice little bows. And I did that a few years ago. Um, and I thought, well, I'm going to use it again because I really like small bows. So that is why I first go to make these little small bows. All right, back again. <laughs> the Mr. Postman was up. All right, so I really like it. Yeah, these little ones are perfect. Perfect. I like it. So now the only thing we need to do is attach this this baby and let's see I want this I'm just going to eyeball this in the middle trying to be as high as possible not too high but and then pushing these in Here we are. Squeeze this out. And flat it. Okay, that's that. Yep. Okay, as flat as possible. Because you don't want your hinge. Out of the way, in of the way, or something like that. But I think we do good. Yep. All right, and then we can move this to down, and that's that. So cool. And I still can add something above here if I like. Perhaps. This I don't think so. It still can be done, but um, we'll see at the end. But for now, I will keep it. It's easier to do my um, hinges in, so it's still a bit flat. Okay, so <laughs> finally, <laughs> finally the cover is done, and I absolutely love it. Now I really hope that these uh, these ribbons stay on. Really hope. But I absolutely love it. Yep. Cool. Alright, so let's go finally to the to the inside. Well, uh, yeah, we should go to the inside. But what kind of a closure do we want? Ooh. Um, I did not do a ribbon closure same as the wedding album but i still perhaps oh 
What shall we do with a big crystal? You, I know you always like that, and I, I like that too. So yeah, why not? Let's search for a one. All right, so had a quick lunch <laughs> with my son. Um, so what I did, I did already my um, bread in. Took me forever, really. <laughs> I'm two and a half hours later, and I'm not further than this. <laughs> All right, so but anyway, um, how I make these little tiny bows? Just use a fork. Yes, it is. Okay, I'm going to tell you how I did that, and I searched it up on YouTube. So nothing inventing. Nope, 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 nope. You can find anything on YouTube, even making little bows. So. Using a fork, using, well, I don't know how much this is. I know, I think it's pretty long, but you can cut a piece down. So what I'm going to do is apply your piece right here. Then you wrap it around. So you have your two tails on this side. Yep. Then this one goes in the middle, right here, in the middle, like this, tied it, and then this one goes in the middle right here. Then I'm going to take this piece, make a little knob. Now I want to squeeze my little tails to the bottom, and when I'm satisfied, I really make a nice tight knob. Alright, that is that. And then you can cut your piece. And I'm always checking if I do it good. Yeah, the longest piece. Nope, I do not do it good. The long is supposed to be in the middle. Yep. And then you just squeeze it off your fork, and then you have a nice little bow. I like it. Okay. Okay, so let's do it again. We have a fork, and we just do it like this. Just wrap it around. Yep. That's that. Perhaps I will close it down. Then the back piece goes in between. And then the back piece goes to the front. And then we tie this one up like so. It's really, really easy. And then make it good. Like that, and then I'm just going to flip it over. I think it's way easier, and then cut it shorter. Here we go. Number two. I'm just going to do this together with you. I really have these things really too long cut, but hey, it's really easy. And then make a nice knob. It's really easy. It is. Easy peasy. Turn it. Make sure your bows are pointing to the bottom. And then cut it off. Let's do it again. So yeah, you can make a ton of these nice little bows. And I did this a few years back, but I totally forgot about it. So now I did this little bow this morning with you guys, and I really was not satisfied. So I thought this needs a better bow. And then I thought, well, I did this earlier, so but I really do not know how it's supposed to be done. So I looked it up again and here we are. 
Now I remember how I did it. So easy. Easy peasy. Okay, one more time, really slow. You put your ribbon around your fork. Keep it in place. Then the back piece goes in between the fork. Then you pull it to the back and then you go back forward and then you are grabbing this piece and I'm just fold it around your back ribbon and tie it up. How easy is that? It's super, super easy. And then go back forward. And then cut it down. Ta-da! Okay, now this one I squeezed too early and so the bow is just a little not nice. I'm just going to make another one together. Let's do it together. Alright. In the middle to the front. And then make a nice little knob. It's so easy. I like it. I really like it. Squeeze it. Peel it off and cut it. Oh yeah, no, this one I will not use, but these I am. So, when these are done, and I told you um, earlier, perhaps I am afraid that they, they will get loose if I glue them on. But like I said, I really was not satisfied. Uh, with the ribbon I made. Perhaps you are a better person who makes nice little uh, bows with your hand, but I am not, so <laughs> so I'm just going to um, apply these on top. Now I switch these up upside down, so stay attention that you are not putting your your little bows upside down. So I'm just starting in the middle. Like that, and I'm just using my fork to squeeze it out so the glue will attach perfectly. And then it's just a matter of placing them down. And I think the glue will do good. Especially when you squeeze it nicely down into that fabric. Can you imagine where a fork is good for? <laughs> See, this is way easier to do it, but it, it took me two hours to decide to do it like this, but, but hey, who cares? Now, um, I'm going to attach really a nice little, just a very little one, little sparkle right here. And then um, I think it's good. Just a little. Mm 
And I really hope it will stay there. But I think it will. Just have to be careful using your album. sizes found in my sewing sewing store uh, where you have tons of these buttons um, so I have a nice big one I think this is two and a half millimeters um, centimeter and a smaller one I think how large is this oh yep there it goes and a very small one I really like it I never use this small one but Definitely going to try on a mini, mini, mini album. But I think I go for the, hmm, I don't know. This one, oh, this one should do it too. But yeah, I know we like blink. We do like blink, don't we? And it's a pretty large one, so yeah, let's go for the big one. <laughs> now I will show you how I'm going to attach it. All right. Right, so let's attach my big crystal button well you have that little small loop on the back see it yes you see it yeah so I punched a hole and now I'm going to apply this to the hole but just in case I am also putting some and try not to mess up my little hole. No. Squeeze that in. And I waited too long. Oh yeah. Okay. See, that can happen too. I just waited too long. That can happen. Now let's make it easier. Let's apply some right here and then squeeze it in. Okay, let it dry for just a second. Then I hope. Let me see that I am still good because we want this opening and sometimes the glue will get in the way that's why I go right away in that hole Then I go have a paper clip. And I don't know if I am good right now, but we'll see about that. If it will poke in that little opening. Oh yeah, here it goes. To go farther than that. I don't want to whip my paper. Perhaps this way is better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Did I ever say that crafting is easy? It isn't! <laughs> okay. Go in. My paper is getting in the way. That's what's happening. My paper is getting in the way. Let's make a little. I really like using a paper clip, so it will be 
good to go. Now move in. Now we go to the paper, which I won't allow. So I'm just <laughs> pick it out. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is something going wide today? I don't know. <laughs> A cheeky day. Now, stay focused. was always messing with me but yep phew here we go <laughs> now it's all the way to so now I can go to this side if possible. Yep, like that. And now I like how it is. This is going nowhere. Squeeze this a little to each other. So it's a nice flat. A long labor, but <laughs> we managed. All right, so now I'm just going to apply some tape so it will be nice set down. Here we go. And later when we are putting some, some paper over it, you will not notice. It's flat as possible. See? And this is not going anywhere. Alright. I like it. Alright. Now I hope that the ribbon <laughs> is not that difficult. Um, Alright. So I choose for this ribbon. And I think this was the best shot that I have. It's a little darker than this piece. But I think I do good. I, I also have some white. But... What do you say? Hmm. Now I can't choose. Perhaps this is too yellow. What do you think? This one? Or... I think I have to search for a white one. This is not enough. But I will let you see. Okay, this is the white one. And this is this one. Ooh. Oh my gosh. We have too much options. <laughs> now I can't choose. Well, you're going to imagine that if we are doing something here. And I want to use as many white flowers as possible. Perhaps white is a better choice. Oh yeah! Oh my goodness! We also have some pink, but... No, I don't like that. Too much options. I will choose. I will choose. And I'll come back to you. <laughs> I was searching for a nice color of seam binding and I was not satisfied with just white. I was not satisfied with the cream color and I was not satisfied with the already pink one. So I thought, hey, I do have 
that Victorian velvet distress ink in my stash, uh, which I got recently from a uh, craft stash. And I thought, well, perhaps it this is perfect color. And I DIY it. And uh, I did, did it twice. And then look at this. Isn't this perfect? Yes, it is. Okay, so I am going to do the rest of my white. I'm going to use three meters. And for those who did not know, see me doing that, I will demonstrate that. So I grab my ink pad and I put it on a baker sheet thing. I know someone gave me the name, but I always forgot. A craft sheet, I believe. Okay, so the very first time I do a pretty lot of water. Then I will apply this in my watery ink. Well, this color is not too bad, so I can do it without any gloves. Okay, well, that is definitely not enough, of course, but we're going to rub it in like that. Okay, let's do it again. And you see that my sheet is not that pretty clean, but that's okay. It's brown, so that is no worries. Okay. A lot of water. Going in. Okay. This is going anywhere. No, this is not going anywhere. Nee, this, this is going somewhere. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes, I'm terrible. I know. I know. <laughs> okay. This is good, but not good enough. Just apply and apply till you are satisfied. Now, I only have an ink pad, but if you have a refill, then use that. I don't have a refill. Do I? I don't know. Otherwise, it's easier, but an ink pad will do it. I really, really love the color. Oh my gosh. It's so vintage. Not that, that dark pink or peel or very light. No, it's perfect. So I'm just picking up the ink that I just add. And then I'm just picking it up. And now this is still wet, so you can imagine if this is going to be dry, it's a bit lighter. Where was the piece that I just did? magic. I think I go just one more time because here are a few light pieces. Where is the piece that I just colored? Oh my gosh, I am terrible today. Everything is getting lost. I don't know what happened today. I think it's the way of that I woke up this morning way too early. <laughs> Okay, now where was the light one? Yep, dipping it. Soaking it all up. And it does not matter if I am picking up a little brown here and there. It's no, it's vintage, guys. So use it. Okay, I think that it's enough. Okay, let's squeeze it in. Here we go. And now with a heating tool, you can dry it up or I air dry. Or you can dry it on air, but I'm having a heating tool, so keep your ears closed. <laughs> but I really like it because it's faster. You don't have to wait. And I'm still looking where I did the first one. What is it? Can't 
find it. The first one I did. You know where it is. Where is it? Tell me. I want to know. <laughs> oh my. Where is it? Where is it? I hope I find it. Where is that other piece that I just DIY'd first? Oh, I am really terrible. I know. I'm still keeping brabbling, but I don't know if you are hearing me. Do you? Yeah, I think you do. I only like the color that is coming out. Don't burn your hands, because this is, of course, very, very hot. But you can also already see that some points are darker than uh, another point, and I really like that. That it's really vintage, and you can squeeze it to get more wrinkles. I really like the shine of this uh, brand, seam binding. I know there are different brands of seam binding, but I really like the Hochsnop. This one. I use this one. This. This one I use, the eggshell. Hochsnop. Hochsnop seam binding. I really like this, this brand. And I got it from, a, from the USA, so... I know here in Holland there is a few stores that have it, but I bought it in the US. Alright, I think it's almost dry. And the rest I let it dry by air. And what do you think? Now, I really want the winkle. Yeah, perfect. Oh my gosh, I love this color. I think I need to clean my hands after this but it still gets a little ugly but let me move away this for just a second love this color so i don't have to because i was trying to seek antique linen perhaps or old paper i don't know which one but then i thought of this color and i thought hey, hey, hey use it Alright, so I'm grabbing my album and now you can see that this is just perfect. Because if I'm going to use this and then white colors, it pops up. Yeah, so cool. Uh, I'm first going to wash my hands before I am dirtying my uh, album. And then um, I come back to you. And I'm still looking for that other piece that I already DIY'd. And I still can't find it. So help me God <laughs> for it. But I can't find it. It's it's missing. It's totally missing. They kidnapped it. All right. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay. Okay. Let's apply. I did find it, by the way. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you where it was in a sec. So I'm punching a hole right here. Applying a little eyelet in it. Just to give it that finishing touch. Need it making it a little bigger. Yep, here it is. Okay, let's squeeze it in. Yep. Okay. Now, I already made my two ribbons, and do you know where my little piece was? I DIY it together with the other one. Oh my gosh, yes I did, when I <laughs> unwrapped this three meter piece, <laughs> it was just between it. Oh my, I know it's crazy, I know. So, I am going to go in that little hole right here now let's see now we have here a nice tunnel and i double my um, lace my seam binding and i'm going to use again a 
um, perhaps it's easy. Well, no, we're just going to do it like this. If we can manage that, just I'm going to apply my paper clip. this ribbon. Squeeze it back. So it's on the long side. Let's grab some tools to make it white. I want to make this as flat as possible. So yep, here we are. Now we got it. See? Now it's flat. Flat as possible. Now we can pull like this. There we go. That won't go anywhere. And now we can attach some double sided tape just to be sure it really isn't going anywhere. And afterwards, of course, we apply some paper and then there is a least BCM. All right, so that is that. So it looks like this. And I, you still can add a nice decorative piece on here if you like, but I like how this looks. And then when it all is finished, well, how can, oh, wait, perhaps if I put this right here. That is not high enough. <laughs> I want to demonstrate you guys how it will look. And if I want to demonstrate it, I do. And I want to. Okay, so suppose that this is the album. It's not going to be that fat, but suppose it is. Then you're grabbing your two strings. And of course, I made it long enough. So two strings, double. And then you just, you don't make a... Um, a knob, not you don't because you don't need to. So, one leash and another one, just how you make a ribbon, a ribbon, uh, a bow, a bow that's what I was to say, a bow, and then you can make it like this, you can make it a little smaller, but that is how I cover that and of course I made too wide but let me so this we still can use it same as the first one we did so I'm putting that in the basket with my all other women and that's that so cool yeah, I know you love it, and I love it too. So that's why I'm doing it over and over again, because I just love it. So cool. Yes. And it's only the outside. <laughs> Can you imagine how the inside is going to be? I am. All right, so stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Please do. <laughs> All right, so next thing what I'm going to do is glue some paper on the inside. And from there on, we are going to apply um, the pages. But we're not getting there. So first of all, I always like to add some tape on the inside cover. Because that does not leave you any bubbling when we are putting this in here. So I'm just unleashing all the tape that's inside. Then I am unleashing the tape from the first piece because now I'm not setting it down because I already unleashed the, the double sided tape of course. Alright so now I'm just going to use my regular glue so I can wiggle a little if needed. It's just a simple clear glue. That I bought here in my own town. I think this glue is only 
available in Europe. It's called Creation. Creation. Not action, but at at yeah. Something like that. But I bought it in the action. It's a dollar store here in my hometown. But I really like it. Okay. So glue this in. Let's see. Am I yep, this is the right way. Just looking if you are good. And if you are good, then press it all down. Use your bone folder to let that glue in your paper. Gentle here with that little bubble. You can go around it. Yep. Cool. Now you can here where we have that tape. All right. Time for the other part. Doggy, 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 doggy. Okay, unleash that tape. And putting some glue on. Nicely around the edges so you can wiggle a little because we put some tape on. Yeah, I use plenty. We don't want this to come loose, so we want to use it. Alright, so. I'm starting at this side to watch where I'm going. Oh my gosh, did you see what I see? Now these papers are having a front and back, so this is not a good one. Ooh. I lined it up warmly. So I'm just grabbing another piece. Let's see, this one's too short. I'll be right back. Little mistake. Okay, take two. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to start at the end. <laughs> and then go this way. And apply your sheets. Now we have a few bubbles that need your attention, like here. Just go around the edges, especially there where you have a paper clip or a board in. That is that. And then we are going to fold it. Now, make sure your tape that we applied extra on the gusset that it's perfectly. Now be gentle with this. Just moving forward, up and down. Be gentle. 
and then your paper is nicely going in that gusset and now you can fold it down but be gentle yep that's good now turn it around uh, we are doing the exactly same thing just go one more time over your tape that we extra applied now again find your gusset and go up and down easily and just be slowly moving up your back cover and when you are be gentle here we go Ta -da! that is that so it looks already really cool what do you think yeah perfect okay now it's time to think of the pages so gosh I'm so proud of the cover <laughs> oh, stay tuned bye bye